All right, honestly, I am terrified of Indian food, but today we're gonna try Haveli's in San Jose. Why are you bringing me here? All right, so Haveli is pretty new. I think it's only been around for a few months, but honestly, it's the one Indian place I can recommend to everybody. My family actually came here and they liked it. And my parents do not eat out Indian food. So I think this one's a win. I think Ed's gonna love it. This can be the best Indian food he's ever had. Just for two. Yeah. We're gonna change it up a little bit. Usually when somebody comes to Indian restaurant, they always just get the butter chicken, but we're gonna go more for a cleaner meal. We're gonna get the tandoori fish. That's fish, it's marinated and it's made in tandoor, which is like a clay oven. And then I tried last time with my wife, actually, we tried this chicken 65, which is like a, I think it was chicken 65, or the chili chicken, actually. We tried the chili chicken, which is like a, I wanna say an Asian inspired, they actually say with Chinese spices, so. Uh, Ed could kind of give us a truth about that, but we're gonna try the chili chicken. Then we're gonna pick one more item, which I have no idea yet. It'll be our uh, mystery item, something new. DNA. Tandoori chicken is a South Asian dish of chicken marinated in yogurt and spices, and roasted in a what's a tandoor? Oh, that's what I think. Clay oven. So it's uh, like it's a it's a barrel. Mm. It's like a clay barrel. And what about why is it marinated in yogurt? I don't think I've had a chicken that had so yogurt. So most, yeah, so when we talk about, my dad does it the same way, tandoori chicken, we put yogurt as the base. So that's kind of like the binding one. So you know you ever get like, have you ever had like tandoori chicken where it comes out red? You know? No. Yeah, so tandoori chicken usually comes out with this color and all these spices and you marinate it in yogurt so it sticks to the chicken. Mm. And it's kind of like a cool way to kind of coat the chicken when it's clean, healthy. So it's kind of like the sauce, like, right? It's 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 the marinade, oh, okay. so it stays on the chicken. The chili chicken, chili is, a, chicken. is a dry one. It's a dry chilies. It is, but I think it's uh, from what I remember, it still has like that um, kind of like if you got wings and they have like a wet wing or a dry wing, it kind of has a wet feel. It's a okay. little spicy, and I know you're not crazy for spicy, but I definitely think that's a cool one to try. It's very different. Okay, I better not die. <laughs> I don't, so we'll do the the chili chicken, and then we'll do the. Tandoori fish tikka. And can we get the mixed veggie uh, pakora? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, garlic naan. All right, All right, what is this? So it's kind of our appetizer. This comes, so everybody gets these. So it's, I'm a butcher, but this is in Punjabi, at least we call it a popper. And it's like a, honestly, like an extremely fried tortilla with seasoning in there. And then you have a green chicken sauce. Salsa? Yeah, like a, it's a green salsa chicken. Salsa <laughs> Yeah, this is a this is gonna be different. This is gonna be something I think you've never tried before. Hopefully you like it. Wait, with my hand? Yeah, you just break it's it breaks, it's fragile, so you just break it. You could try it without the sauce, you could dip it in, give it a try. Oh the sauce is spicier. Oh, is it spicy? Yeah, it's a, it's like a chutney, so sometimes and you know they make it like every day, so it's gonna change. What do you think of the texture and the, the taste of uh it's different, right? It's like a tortilla, but it's not the same ingredient, right? Yeah, and you know, I, now, I, I mentioned fried, but I remember my mom, when we were little, we used to have these all the time, and my dad would buy them, and they come as like a tortilla, and you put it on like a the stove, and it just becomes this. But yeah, it has a lot of spice, right? It looks like it's plain. Private booking. Thank you. That's a sweet, it's a sweet sauce. And this is the same one that we have? Yeah, that's the same exact sauce. This is the vegetables. This is the vegetables, and this is the chicken. This you think this one will be more wild than this one? Yeah, I think this will be like a, a flavor you could find. I think that's just something you've probably never tasted before. Dang, all right, we'll go with the wild yeah, one. Try first. it with the, the sweeter sauce too. I like that. Um, but the spice is good too, of course. So this is supposed to be fried vegetables. Yeah, spice it's flavor. very seasoned. Uh, This one's good though, huh? This is good. Now, like, I've had this at so many weddings, but it does not taste this good. This place is, I'm telling you, it's a gem. And sadly, this place is empty. And you said this is cauliflower? So there's cauliflower and then onions. It's like, a, they take oh, it's all- it's mixed. Yeah, they mix them all together. They put like a, a thick flour to it and a bunch of seasoning, and then they fry it. Oh, good. All right, this, this one is- This one's got to be spicy. It's <laughs> gonna be spicy. <laughs> Look at it, bro. Bro. This is chili chicken. 
like real chili, not real just chili, chili flavor. Chinese inspired chili. I would say it kind of tastes like a. You've had panda before, right? Yeah. Have you had the time. Beijing beef before? Yeah. It tastes like that. Really? Yeah. That's a good. I I take Beijing chicken, bro. And then you get all like the little vegetables, kind of a nice touch. So it's spicy guess, though. It's not that spicy. It's like really? no. You know, the, have you had the Beijing beef from yeah. Panda? Dude, this that is shit, spicy. That shit makes me like <laughs> my nose drip. <laughs> I think what I like about it is the amount of sauce that's on it. All right, I'm approving of both of these. <clears throat> Wait till you get the next one. I will say that I think I'm setting your expectation high on most Indian restaurants. They're good, but they're not as good as they're this. They're not as good as this. This is up there. Bookmark this in your locations. Haveli Kebab and Grill in San Jose. San Felipe, right? Wait, normal Indian restaurants? If I was to go to an Indian restaurant right now, they'd be serving most, buffet style. Yeah, most of them, like 80% of them. What the heck? Yeah, it's like a 17 to $25 buffet. And there's some good ones. Um, there's Emperor of India. Oh, but Cotto, if you go at dinner, it's not buffet style. Never, yeah, dinner is never. Oh, so they switch, like, it's a common Indian restaurant thing. Yeah, it's, it's very oh. common. It's like one of those where you're open and then you close for a couple hours in the yeah. day. So they'll be open for lunch, 11 to like two, and it'll be all buffet. Then they'll close down and dinner is just a mm. order. All right, so we got the garlic naan, the tandoori fish. This is the one, right? Yeah, this is the one. So it's sizzling, it's made in tandoor, comes with more sauce. And this is a little hack. So getting garlic naan with this isn't normal. You usually get garlic naan with you get the butter chicken or you get those extra items. But I think it's a little hack to take the garlic naan, put some fish in it, and eat it like a little mini taco. But don't like rip off a piece and then mm. piece for piece. All right, so what do I do? So first, you want to squeeze the lemon. You can use your hands. You want to just get extra lemon onto the fish. Why don't we get move? Let these little guys cool down real quick. All right, we're gonna cool down the lemons. Then we're gonna take a little fish and we're gonna take a little naan. So you're gonna grab a naan. You're gonna grab a piece of fish. The whole thing, right? Yeah, just take the whole thing. But I like to break off pieces. So take the fish to your plate or eat it from here. You think like half? And then right. add we fish the on half. there. It's gonna be soft. But let's see if it. Let's see how soft this. It's not. breaking. All right, so put it on here. Yeah, put eat it, it together. There. I would add some onions to it, and then I would just drizzle sauce on it. Oh, this one? Yeah, the green one. You could try the other one after, but let's go with the OG first. All right. All right, then. Now eat it like a pizza. Yeah, eat it like a like a pizza a taco? taco. All right. Check this out. All right, pizza taco. Mm. Hyped or approved? That's pretty good. Wow. But you know, I was expecting, that one actually is more flavorful, the chili really? chicken one. Yeah. That chili chicken has a lot of flavor, yeah. Mm. But this, you know, what I love about this fish, it's like a clean, and it's a unique way to have fish. I don't think you've had fish with that kind of flavor, right? And I don't even know what kind of fish this is. It's really light. It's a white fish for sure, but yeah, it's like a, a light coated with that yogurt, spices. Has like this really good color to it. Do it. This is how I would do it. So I put a naan on my plate. I know these are a little slippery, but grab a little bit of a piece of fish, some onions on top, and then lemons were hot, but I think they kind of cool down, so I drip a little lemon. And so this is traditionally like if you're eating buttered chicken or eating anything, you're kind of just breaking off a piece and then you break off a piece of that fish. Got some sauce. Go for a bite. Yep, it's as good as I remember. Dang. All right, as you can tell, we do like the food here. Finish it off. I'm gonna have to say the tandoori fish was my favorite. I'm gonna give that a eight out of ten. Eight? I think that's all right. None can't go wrong with that. I don't think this one deserves a rating because it's always gonna be good. Can someone make it bad? No, unless you burn it, I guess. All right, yep. Never that had one, bad none. Unrated. I think the vegetable was cool because you got to try it with two sauces. I like it better that with the sweet is one. Good, yeah, that's my favorite sauce. Yeah. And I'll give that a seven. And I'm also gonna give that one a seven. You said this one's like an authentic 
Indian dish, right? That's not authentic. Yeah. yeah, that's like this restaurant kind of their created dish. Yeah, have you ever had Beijing beef from Panda? It kind of tastes like that. I mean, I my my standards for the this I feel like is a nine. Like this dish is is up there, and I agree with the other ones. You know, I'd probably give both of those an eight. But what I will say is, out of Indian restaurants, and I think Ed was a little fearful of coming to Indian restaurant. This is it. This is the top dog. Um, there might be one or other two good spots, um, but this is really like the best you could come to get good service. It's kind of always empty, um, and the food's always good. All right, so we just finished at Haveli. I'm gonna definitely give this place an eight out of ten. I would definitely come back. That tandoori fish, so good. So, anyways, stay tuned for the next one because we're gonna try a new place with our mystery friend. His name rhymes with Brian. <laughs>